You will not say it whenever I say I hate myself for it. What is going on everybody? My name is Wolves and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map. Guys, I'm mad at myself. If you guys don't know why, I'll tell you. So, uh, I actually played this map. Yes, and I recorded it. However, my audio and my game audio were mixed together and so I could not change my recording audio or at least my microphone audio uh, without changing my my game audio first so yeah I couldn't do that I literally had to um, I, I had to do something different it was either turn up the volume let the game volume being so loud my voice still so quiet or uh, let the uh just delete it and make a new video and that's exactly what i did i literally deleted the video and now i'm creating a new video and the video that i did i actually uh did the easter egg i'll show you guys how to actually do the easter egg here as well uh it's actually a really pretty easy and simple easter egg as well look at this 1911 this actually does look like a Kimber 1911, actually. Yeah, it actually does. I actually do have a Kimber 1911 in real life as well. Um, and it is awesome, let me tell you that. Nice, an instant kill. Something that I don't really need. Okay. But anyways, like I said, I played this before. Uh, this is actually a really amazing map. This is called this, uh, this... What the fudge just happened? Okay, well, that works. But this is called the Secretary, or, yeah, the Secretary, I do believe. And this is based off of The Walking Dead, or at least, um, it's kind of have an idea of The Walking Dead. So if we actually go through here, that left us with literally zero dollars. Go over here, we have Double Tap Root Beer. I believe this is the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, uh, perk designs. Which, I have not played Call of Duty Cold War yet. Zombies. Well, actually I have, but that was whenever the free day was here. Oh gosh. But, I, I really do hate myself. Um, I can't lie and say that I haven't played this before. I mean, come on. You, you can't get away with a lie. I may remember the steps to the Easter egg. Uh, I don't necessarily know. I, I I remember I had a pretty good run uh, coming into this, and it looked like I was doing pretty good, which I was. Zombie blood. Ooh, zombie blood. Okay. Uh, hold on real quick because I actually need to walk around here. So this is part of the easter egg. I need a zombie blood to go around here, look around. That guy doesn't have it. No, dang it. Aw. Oh. Alright, so I need to check these bodies for a fuse. And I need that fuse as well. Oh, I guess I could do this as well. Okay, so I need... I need this code. There's a code over here. As you can see, there's a code right there with a red candle, or at least a number with the red candle and it has the number four on it which if we go over here and we see right here oh yeah i need a power on first whoops all right we'll come to that later so we actually need to go over here this is still in the area um just beyond double tap and all that here's deadshot dykery uh the power i believe is right beyond this door in fact let's actually we might as well go ahead and get the power on Meal kick is right here, and the power is all the way over here. And by the way, there's another code right here. A yellow candle with a code number 5. So we have red 4. Oh shoot, why are you running already? My goodness. Anyways, so we have a red 4 and a yellow 5. So, red 4, we're going to input in this code. As you can see, there is these numbers. So we need red 4, yellow 5, and then... On the blue, we can just sit here and just press it until it is correct. There we are. And that is going to open... Oh, shoot. I forgot about you. I still don't know your name. Oh, no. 
I don't remember this guy's name from The Walking Dead. I've watched so much of The Walking Dead. I don't know why- I don't know why I'm just going ahead uh, without telling you guys this. I do uh, believe I said that this was off and based off of The Walking Dead, I do believe. Which is actually a pretty cool map. Uh, so basically we are four survivors of the guy who is uh, over there walking around creepily and slowly. George Ramirez style. I actually forgot his name um, for the most part. So if we go over here, uh, Juggernog is right here. So we're actually going to open or get Juggernog. And you also have this pipe right here. So we're actually going to buy this pipe. And we need the wrench for that. So once you actually get the wrench, you need to go around the map and there are pipes that you do need to get. Anyways, I've watched only until season 8 of The Walking Dead and I completely forgot about it because I was watching way too many other TV shows. I started watching The Walking Dead since I was like 7 years old and that's whenever I, you know, kind of stopped playing zombies to play multiplayer. I know you might think it should be the other way around, but no, that's literally how I started getting to multiplayer. On Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I literally just watched The Walking Dead and literally I just started playing multiplayer for some reason. I'm just trying to rack up as many points as I can right now, right here. You like that trigger finger? That was a trigger finger right there. Alright, we're gonna leave a few zombies as well, so... What we need to do is that we need to get in here. There's another perk right here. I believe this is a... Black Ops 4 and a Cold War perk. And over here... We have Speed Cola speeds up your life. Oh, and the box. Okay, I'm gonna hit the box real quick. Oh, nice. Uh, amazing. Anyways, you have another pipe over here, and this, you're gonna go up to it, and you're gonna interact with it. Like I said, you need the wrench. Woo! I flippin' hate him. And now the last valve is whenever you come in here, and there's the valve right to your right. You can turn this on, and this actually opens the Pack-A-Punch. So, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was actually fire right here. And Pack-A-Punch, you could not get to Pack-A-Punch. Now you can. Alright, let's go spin the box again one more time. Hopefully we get a little bit of a better weapon. The Odin. I mean, I guess it's fine. So what I need is that I need electric cherry. So we're gonna buy electric cherry. Oh yeah, there's two of you. I forgot. I thought this was like a bug. Apparently this happens uh, for the most part. Game wants to make sure that you have these guys because these guys do come important later. All right, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna actually go all the way over here right back to Speed Cola. And then we're actually going to shoot once, we need to shoot once, and we need to go over here by this little power gauge. We're going to reload, and the electric chair is actually going to turn it right on. This crane's going to move, it's going to drop this box, and inside is a crane fuse. And that fuse, we are going to need, but first, let me go upgrade my guns. By the way, I am uh, trying to get uh, the maps uh, for Call of Duty Black Ops 1. On Xbox, I may get them on my Xbox One or just get Call of Duty on PC. I would really like to do it on Xbox because I can get achievements and all that. And the reason why I'm doing it is for Nostalgia Week as well. So, so let's actually go right back in here. Hopefully, nobody's coming that way. Come on. Yes. Go, and I believe that is it. If I'm right, let's see, let's double check. Yes, that is. Okay. Ooh, God. All right, we can also do this. So we actually do need to go around the whole map, and there are teddy bears. We need eight teddy bears in total, and these teddy bears will open up, excuse me, this red door. And this is uh, valuable for the Easter egg as well. So we need all of those uh, teddy bears, and I will show you guys after this round where all those teddy bears Te teddy bears? Teddy bears are. Ooh, nice. nice anyway. One teddy bear is under, at spawn, is under the stairs. You're going to shoot them with a pack a punch gun. You have to shoot them with a pack a punch gun in order for them to disappear. The next one is over here 
by this little window barrier at spawn. One is over here by the AK, as you guys can see over here by the AK is on that little shelf right here. Over here by Jug, right under the uh, stairs is one right here. I gotta get out of here. Oh my god. Brom down inside the furnace is a teddy bear. I'm just gonna do that pretty fast. Up here by Speed Cola, there's a teddy bear on top of the ledge. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so you see what this guy's holding? You actually need that. There, uh, as you guys may have seen in this video, I've been checking around uh, for those bodies. Also, there's a part of the shield. I actually don't know where all the shield parts are. Anyways, another teddy bear is all the way out here by Deadshot Dykery. It's on top of there, and I believe that is it. Let's see how many shots we can actually take down with this guy. Oh my goodness, the kilo is too good. Oh, by the way, once you kill this guy, you get Lucille, which is the guy's bat that he uses in the game to kill my favorite character. And the last one, I thought that was all, but the last one is actually on top of this little ledge here and that should be all yes so as you can see we can now go in here the red door is now open and you can go up to here to take back daryl's explosive uh crossbow if you guys don't know who daryl is daryl is one of the characters in the walking dead series and he uses a crossbow for the most part he is probably one of the coolest characters. I mean, in the first episode, or at least in the first season, he was kind of a little bit of an a-hole. But hey, we don't talk about that. We now talk about him now, which he is a brother to Rick Grimes. Anyways, we actually do need to pack punch this, so let's go ahead and pack punch this. And it now becomes Daryl's eruptive crossbow. I actually cannot believe I remember all of this stuff from whenever I played it. So, by the way, as you guys remember, we got that fuse. We got the uh, blood fuse. The blood fuse um, generator is right here at spawn. And now all you need to do is just train zombies and uh, basically kill them and their souls will go into there and that will be the blood fuse generator all done this is for the bible ending there's a bible ending in this game it's actually pretty easy and simple i really do like these type of style uh you know games that do this custom zombie maps that actually do have like bible endings as an easter egg by the way this is what uh the upgrade uh, explosive crossbow does it literally just turns into a fiery pit. If you actually, um, if you actually just, you know, uh, hold it down and between them will become, like, rocks or something, hot rocks. Alright, so that should be that done. So now, last but not least, uh, I actually forgot where this is. And what we need to do is that we need to kill one of these guys, which with of course the kilo should be fine honestly there's another one there but that is all right so what we need to do is that we need to actually take lucille and we need to bash down this wood whenever i first played through this i knew exactly that we need something for this i thought it was an axe but apparently it was lucille and what i actually took was a gold ingot so what you're actually going to do is that you are going to take the upgraded daryl's eruptive crossbow you're going to shoot it into this open furnace over here and then it's going to give you the option to place the gold ingot and there you go so we actually do need that to smelt so that's going to take a pretty long time i will say actually it's going to take a few rounds if you guys want to play this map by yourselves as well or with a uh, team Link will be down in the description below to the Steam page for this map. I like it. Hopefully you guys will like it as well. Oh, never mind. Okay. So I'll show you what this key is for uh, after this round. So uh, be right back, I guess. Alright, actually I can show you guys right now uh, since this is going to give me a little bit of a boost. And it's going to give me time. So, if we actually go over here by Deadshot Dykery, I did not know this until I looked up the video. I literally did not know you can jump over these sandbags. You can literally jump over these sandbags. This is a playable area. 
and you can actually open this door. You have to have that key smelted from the gold to open this door. And right here is the furnace fuse. We actually do need this. And then we need to go all the way back over here. And the furnace fuse is going to be inserted right here in this generator. Oh gosh, look at them all. Oh, we better get ready. Three, two, one. Oh man. Woo! Look how many souls we just collected. Like I said, this easter egg is really simple and easy. There's also a music easter egg, but I do not know how to get that. Uh, but I may know a way, but you guys can figure that out on your own. Uh, because I don't know if the easter egg, the music easter egg, oh god, is copyrighted or not, so... That's actually gonna activate him. Oh, no! This is not good. This is not good. Where's he? I see him. I see him. Just die, please. Just die. Just die. Just die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I think we can outrun him. No, no, no. Oh, nuke. Nice. Where is he? Oh, 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 my gosh. I thought that was him. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Oh, thank you. You're just showing yourself. Die. Oh, man. All right. So, really, all we need right now, since we completed all the generators, we basically completed everything right now. All we need is the perks that, of course, only matter to us. And what we can do is that we can press and hold X to intimidate the lockdown process. We're actually going to do... I swear to goodness. We're actually going to do this. We're going to start the lockdown process, and all we have to do in here is just survive. We can't go outside of these uh, lines that they put us here. If you have all the perks that you need, and you can just train the zombies, you die. You, that's, that's literally all you do. That's all you do is just die. Oh gosh. Let's play, 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 play. No, 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 die. Oh man, reload, reload. Oh, oh no, go, go, go. Oh, please, please let me survive. Let me survive this. I've came all this way. I've came all this way. Honestly, I have one more down in me. Yes! There we go! Oh man, and it will give you all the perks in the game and all that as well. Oh man. Once you finish that, you can go on the same teleporter and now you have the escape for 25,000. We're actually going to try to get that. I'm so glad that I survived that. That was kind of nerve-wracking. By the way, if you're wondering uh, what... Uh, all this is on my screen. It is that new perk in that hallway. I really don't like it. It's not really the best perk because, I mean, I really don't know, or I really don't need to know where every zombie is on the map. Well, this was the se the secretary, I do believe, on Call of Duty Black Ops 3, The Walking Dead. Oh, wait, I don't even have enough. What am I doing? I thought it was all over. Apparently not. Let's go. Hold X to escape, and there we have it. Game over. You survived 24 rounds. Hopefully my audio is okay. I definitely did triple check it to make sure it was okay. And anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would definitely help me and support the channel as well. Honestly, this was a nice map. Like I said, if you guys want to play this map, link will be down in the description below. If you also want a guide, I actually did use a guide on this uh, Easter egg. And if you want the guide, in case you didn't catch everything in this video, link will also be down to the guide as well. Like I said, this was a really fun map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It would definitely help me and support the channel as well. And I would definitely love to do some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies content and maybe some, uh, maybe Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 content. I actually do stream live over on twitch.tv slash itswolves. 
live. If you guys want to see a little bit of some live Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, uh, multiplayer gameplay as well. Anyways, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. See ya. Peace.